Thanks to this job, we've had the honor of hearing countless stories of cringeworthy marriage proposals. Yes, we have. That definitely <laughs> could have gone better. Uh huh. Yes. Like popping the question on the jumbotron while she's mid bite on her cheddar chili cheese dog. <laughs> oh, seriously, oh, timing no. people. <laughs> or proposing at someone else's wedding Ugh. right yeah. in the middle of the vows. Wow. Oh. I <laughs> promise yeah. to love you forever with all my heart. Hold that thought, Groomy. I have a question I got to ask my Tinder date, Misty. Misty. But we've got a guy on the phone today with a horrible proposal story that might actually top them all. He's so embarrassed that he has to hide his identity Whoa. when he tells us the true story of what happened oh. in a brand new Valentine's Day themed mass speaker. Oh. 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 We're going that route for Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're, like going. It. We're doing it. So We're going ugly. You. It's coming up at 710. You don't know me. Session I can't take back. I am the masked speaker. It's a special Uh-oh. Valentine's Day edition of the masked speaker, oh, where Jeffrey. the confessions are not only love themed, but as a special treat, everyone in studio is dressed head to toe in their latex onesies. <laughs> These are tight. It's yeah. the first time I'm glad that it's cold in this room. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's the most comfortable I've ever been on this show. Yeah. Oh, I Jeffrey. Bet. But we have a romantic <laughs> man on the line who wants to come clean about his love life. He's going by Blake today. Oh. So, Blake, are you wearing your latex PJs, too? Mm-hmm. Uh, I partially, yeah. Oh, 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 oh now don't you, tell us the top Now the you're speaking Jeffrey's language. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Blake. We're just going to guess which half of you yeah. has the latex on. All right. Meanwhile, voice think, changer. Think Winnie the Pooh. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, like it's, it. it's really I a good day you now. I a pot of honey next to you, too. <laughs> okay, let's keep well, going. Well, now we're making it weird. Voice changer is on. You are the mass speaker, Blake. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. <laughs> so when I was, you know, young and pretty poor, um, okay. I started dating my current wife. Aww. Um, yeah, sweet. it was it was good. And it was I, good? I yeah. hope so. You married her. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you know that she didn't marry you for money. It worked. He's like, I needed to split rent, guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was my honey. Um, yeah. I, I was really broke, and on our one-year anniversary, like it was coming up, and I kept thinking, like, what can I do to impress her? But I uh-huh. didn't have the money to impress her like I wanted to impress her. Aww. Aww. And, and one year's a really... big deal, too, yeah, right? Cause you... It's like, oh, yeah. we're going to do it the or we're not. The first anniversary. Yeah. 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 yeah, you got to go big because it's all downhill from that point. <laughs> so, so what do you do? Uh, yeah. I wanted to take her to a nice dinner, but I knew it was going to be like so expensive. Mm-hmm. But then I, I had a eureka moment. There was this really nice Italian restaurant near where we lived, mm-hmm. and they had one of those food challenges, you know, uh, where you have to eat a bunch of food in an amount of time. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk well, about I, a romantic I, night. I, I mean, watch those on YouTube a lot. You can't go to a high-end place if you can't eat five pounds of pasta. Yeah. <laughs> See, they had this food challenge where if you ate, like, their eight-pound Titanic chicken parmesan sandwich. Oh, oh my God. Oh, then you'd get a free meal uh, or something? Yeah, if you ate it in under an hour, you'd get it for free plus a fifty dollar gift card. Ooh. Oh, to come oh. back! That All is right. good. Plus, okay. Knowing knowing most Russians, it'd be like, and you get a free dessert. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want dessert now. <laughs> so okay. did you do it? Did you go by yourself? Well, the thing is, is I, I cut it way too close, so I had to take the challenge the day of our anniversary. The day of oh, what? No <laughs> like way. while like you're on while you're on the date. No, no, I went like right when they opened for lunch. <laughs> oh like, my! Like God. 10 a.m. <laughs> before the date. <laughs> before the date, uh, it was some nice foreplay for sure, and I went was there. Was it though? <laughs> I feel like you're sweaty, <laughs> chicken, like yeah. chicken parm, and you're bloated. Uh, you're like foreplay. So you took the challenge. Yeah, I took the challenge. I said, "Give me that Titanic sandwich." And <laughs> How'd you do? Um, like 35 minutes in, my eyes felt like they were bulging with Parmesan. My oh. I felt like I had the flu. Oh, no. oh, did you Sweaty. finish it? What if you didn't finish it, then you had to pay for it, and you didn't have a plan for dinner oh, that night? No, this sick. is where you dig deep for the woman that you love, oh. and you finish that second four pounds of meat. <laughs> I dug deep, and I polished the whole thing off. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. I did it in time. Nice. This should be yeah. a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine going back to the restaurant the same night and actually ordering no. again oh, off yeah. the menu? I didn't think of that. We went a few hours later, so I was I was still full, and uh, yeah. the whole meal was comped. 
but I spent most of the night in and out of the restroom. Uh, oh, yeah. Body's processing everything. You know, like, yeah, go into the bathroom, or sometimes I just sort of have to lay there to take a break. Wow. I, was, I was the <laughs> sickest maybe I've ever been. Oh, this, that's, why is there a guy wait, laying in that That's booth? quite an image, somebody lying on the floor of an Italian <laughs> restaurant <laughs> on Valentine's Day. And she didn't know something was up? There's no way she didn't realize you were in the least sick. Right. Well, the third time I told her that I needed to use the restroom, she goes, hey, I know what you're doing. It's okay. And I was like, what am I doing? And she says, you're going to the bathroom because you're nervous. You're trying to build up the courage to propose to me. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. wait a minute. What? No, not at all. What did you say? <laughs> it was like too much pressure, too much stress. And then I threw up all over the table. No! Oh, my God. And we had to leave the restaurant. Dead white tablecloths. Oh, gross. that is Wait, so horrific. Does she still not know why you vomited? Well, no, because I, I then proposed to her in the parking lot without a ring. You what? Away, without you, a ring. You Wait, you fresh <laughs> off of throwing up inside of the restaurant. We you got down better. on one knee as soon as you left the door. Well, I was on two knees, but yes. <laughs> Wait, she said yes? No yes. ring with what? vomit breath. Oh, please don't tell me you kissed I mean, after. She felt guilty, maybe, or she felt very bad, so she she did say yes. Uh, you know, with, with the, without a ring, so that was that was when I knew she was the one. And what? <laughs> so you've never told your your wife now the true story of what happened that day. I haven't because she like thinks I loved her so much and I was nervous to propose and I would rather have that be the story. <laughs> I agree, wow. bro. It's much grosser if you tell her the truth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like I still can't eat Italian food, so whatever she she, she <laughs> suggested, I have to get like a salad or just something yeah. to oh, Italian. Man. The, oh, man. the salad eating challenge though, that one should no, be pretty easy. No. <laughs> All food <laughs> if there is a woman out there that deserves a ring upgrade, it's yes. your wife. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so wait, yeah. How long have you and your wife been together now? Uh, we've been together for eight years. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah. One year for every pound of meat that you put down <laughs> at that Italian restaurant. It's she only knew. <laughs> Dude, that's wow. Crazy. Well, that's a beautiful story. Is it? Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> Happy yeah. Valentine's Day, everyone. Text in 78592. If you have a confession you've been holding on to, we'll hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you the next mass speaker. Phone tap's coming up next.